All right. So today we've got our first question that was submitted from someone besides myself. So Dominic, who's my son, my, my kids have been helping me out with this, uh, with the YouTube channel. Um, I had basically no clue uh, how, to, how to go about uh, creating YouTube channels. So my kids have been helping me. And uh, so Dominic's been looking at some of my videos and he said, hey, dad, what what is a database and what is this SQL you keep talking about? So let's jump into it. So what's a database? You know, if, whether you guys know it or not, uh, you are re you, your information is stored in databases uh, all over the place, uh, especially if you live in the U.S. these days. Um, your information is being stored and cataloged for various purposes. And all a database is, is a, it's an organized collection of structured information or data typically stored in a, in a computer system. So before we had databases, we had filing cabinets, we had uh, folders that got stored in the filing cabinets with papers in them. And, and you'd have to have people manually go to the filing cabinets and get the documents out and, and retrieve them and read through them to figure out, you know, information that was pertinent to whatever task you're doing. But databases, I'll enable you to do this at a much more scale, uh, efficient scale than ever before. It's because you take the the human aspect out of out of the storage and retrieval of the information. And databases allow for the analysis of data over a much greater volume than ever before. And when I explain databases, I like to explain them in the context of a spreadsheet because generally a lot of people are familiar with them. And even if they're not, uh, just just visually looking at them, people catch on uh, pretty quickly. So before we jump into the spreadsheet, I also wanted to introduce what what SQL is. And SQL is just the the language of of a database, and it stands for Structured Query Language. C SQL is portable generally across databases as long as you use something called the ANSI standard. And that allows you to take that same SQL and, and run it on Oracle or SQL Server or MySQL or Postgres or whatever relational database you're, you're dealing with. And there's four main constructs, constructs to SQL. You've got your select, which retrieves data. You've got your insert, which puts new data into the table. You've got your update, which updates existing data and your delete statement, which removes data from the table. So now let's take a look at our table. So I've got a table I've named employee, and it's got employee information. Each one of these columns contains data for the table. So we've got the employee ID, which is what we call a primary key. It's just a number that uniquely identifies each individual in the employee table. We've got first name, last name, phone, address, city, state, and zip. Now, an individual's data is when what they call a row, and this is a row of data for the employee ID one. So if I want to write a select statement, this select here is going to return star means give me all of the columns from the employee, I, the employee table where the employee ID is one. And that will return this data that's shaded here. So that's select. Now let's talk about update. So we've got an update statement. We'll say update and what table we're updating, the employee table, set the city equals to Austin. So that will update this to Austin where the employee ID equals to two. So that update only applies to this individual row of the table. Delete, delete from employee where employee ID equals to three. So this is the row with employee ID equal three, and we're going to delete that row. And lastly, we have insert. So insert into employee, you name the columns, and here's the data. And that would just equate 
to inserting a new row into this table. And that's it. So again, I'm excited to get questions from people outside my cell. And there's a URL here. I'll put it in the description of the video. You just paste this into your browser. It'll bring you to this web page here. And you just push the Create button. Type in your name or your email, your question. And I will get back to you with an answer. Thanks, guys.